What's up, everybody? How you doing? Today? How you doing? This is your boy Melvin here for our classic review. And today I'm reviewing the the 1985 Halloween special Garfield's Halloween Adventure, released air first aired in 1985. And damn, this is a classic because this is one of the you know like back in the days so you were, if you remember the Garfield show like okay I'm not talking about the 3D one I'm gonna talk about the original. OG original one back in the 80s. Where'd you have the talented voices, voice actor Lorenzo Music as the voice of Garfield? If you recall, this year was also not just also the passing of. Damn, I forgot the name of the voice actress again. Shit. She voices the. She voices John's grandma. If you don't remember which one. It's the grandma we all wanted. The more the more cycle driving, rock and rolling grandma. If you've ever seen Garfield's Thanksgiving one special, that one. When she managed to help John with the Thanksgiving dinner. With style. <laughs> but yeah, before we begin, did you subscribe? Did you hit the bell? If so, what are you waiting for? Are you ready for tonight? Get some candy, 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 candy. Woo! If so, let's go. But yeah. This one I like because, come on. It's Garfield plus Halloween, but... Oh, yeah, good cast list here. Learn to voice Garfield here, like usual. You also have Tom, Tom Huge, who voices John, and... Binky the Clown. Yeah, I remember that guy. I don't know if it was... Maybe it was just John dressed up as, cl as a clown. Yep. <laughs> John's a clown. Beep, beep. Also, we have Greg Berger as Odie. I did not know Odie had a voice actor. He, 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 he hardly talks. And the TV announcer. We also have Lindsay Workman as the old man... Which I never heard of, but I gotta check out who this guy is, but yeah. And Dieter go yet as the one at the door. But yeah. Let's get to the review, shall we? We catch ourselves back here in a good early morning. We see Garfield sleeping, like usual. In front of the TV, we hear the announcer mention Good morning everybody. This is your public broadcasting show. But, before we begin, here's Biggie the Clown Show. Have a nice day. What do we have this creepy ass clown tell you to wake your ass up and do some exercises? Literally. Even Garfield was surprised and shocked. He started doing exercises. And he's like, wait, wait a minute. What am I doing? What she being calling him lazy? Ooh. That gotta hurt. <sighs> Which Garfield didn't take that lightly. He's looking for the remote to turn the TV off. That's when Big Game you know, mentions. You better get in great shape, kids. Man, this is a night. We get a lot of candy. What you yeah. When Garfield turns the TV on, they aha. Wait, wait a minute. Do you think we get a lot of candy tonight? Which, yeah. That's right, kids. Because tonight is Halloween night. And you get all the candy, do we? Yes, we do. Which Garber starts this thing into a, a musical number, which we hit the title card, Garfield's Halloween Adventure, which I like the, the, the logo of it, because when you're a graphic designer, that logo, come on, that's like something from old school Halloween. You don't really see, like, you, okay, you don't see those type of logo anymore. Now if we look a bit cheesy. Damn. You don't see those anymore, but yeah. Soon after we get Garfield back in bed and then he went back to sleep. Then he wakes up. All hyped up again. Candy 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 Hello Halloween. Which yeah. But also Garfield needs to practice his scaring and a costume so he hides under his blanket and starts crawling. Meanwhile, we see John in the kitchen carving a pumpkin. That's when we see Garfield 
Under sheets, slowly crawling, which John knows, but then no, didn't take a thing. Keeps carving until Garfield gets the crap out of him. Causes the pumpkin to fall, tosses the pumpkin out and fall on top of his head, which Garfield did not notice. Which Garfield would say, "Ha! I scared you." That's not funny, Garfield. Oh, how about this one? <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Ooh, there's a pumpkin on your head. But yeah. <laughs> When John pulls the pumpkin out and gets and gets what that pumpkin lands on Odie's head, literally. As you know, Garfield is well, how about the brother? He's wait, what's this? It looks kind of lasagna. Says and you know, John says says when you eat says when you like pumpkin innards, you know like the stuff you pull out the ja the pumpkins to create the jack o lanterns, you know the seeds and that. Which is a pooey never <laughs> He even drops, throws the ball into the ground like that's when Garfield when John brings him breakfast which he did once and then as you know Garfield's Garfield he just takes the whole thing <laughs> leaving John nothing you can see his face so he tries to scare Odie which unaware he still has a pumpkin on his head when Garfield removed the sheets he got scared Odie scared him because he's wearing the pumpkin which that's not funny but yeah, that's when Garfield started making a joke about Odie until they, until he hits the last one. Odie's so stupid. It's if there were two. Ah, forget the joke, but if there were two of them, he would have two of the candy. Which he had an idea. He wants to bring Odie, so he can have double the candy. So we went back to Odie. Before you could tell him, he told him to take off the pumpkin off his head first. Explain that the dogs have to have cats, which you can see his face like, huh? Yeah. You see that face, and he's like, what the fuck, bitch? <sighs> yeah. <sighs> I don't blame him, but hey, it's Garfield. But yeah. Soon after Odie agrees, they go to the act to fight the Mountain Council, which. Oh boy, what you mention John mentioned doesn't throw anything away, he doesn't throw anything away. Which they found the how the trunk full of Halloween costume, which we have a little segment of of Garfield trying to each costume like a vampire, an alien, hobo, a hobo clown, spaceman, and a alien going out of the town. Which yeah, it's pretty cool. Until guess what he dress as? A pirate, which yeah, he decides to be a pirate, and the first thing he does, steal John's lunch, which is lasagna. <laughs> Damn! Come on, let the guy have his breakfast. Jesus! Soon after is Halloween night. Both Garfield and Odie head for the night, and soon Odie starts getting scared because hey, they're just kids in costumes. Soon after, Garfield started singing another song again, this time. Uh, a scaredy cat? Yeah. One by one, you got each kid, one by one. I think the first one, the keep encounter was the damn ghost one. I think the first one was... <clears throat> well, the first one was the ghost, where they tried to pull the sheet. Guess what was under? Bigfoot. Literally. An actual Bigfoot. <laughs> it was a start screaming around and left. Soon they encounter another kid. Looks like he's wearing a mask. Garfield pulls the mask. Nope. That's his actual. His actual he, sees a, a, he has the same face. Let's go. And he start running around screaming. And they escape. This time they encountered the ghost again. This time they thought, okay, nothing under it. When you pull up. Nothing there. It's an actual ghost. And he starts screaming around, and boom. Even the ghost's like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> so now then he goes for the first house, which is the trick or treat. And of course, Garfield Garfield. Hey, give me more candy. Yep. So now there, they have a bag full of candy. They want to go to the house, and so they, once they cross the area, they arrive at this, I think, at the lake or something. And they see a bunch of houses. He arrives, so... 
they decided to take a boat. They go over there. So yeah. When Griffin tells him Odie to throw the oars and start rowing, Odie literally just throws the oars overboard, which <laughs> they're stranded in the water and the boat's going forward and they Mend the sails! Hold the anchor! I want my mommy! <laughs> so after Garfield still looks like they're in like in the middle of the, okay, I don't know where they are. I think they're in Louisiana now, but yeah. It's actually pretty funny. Soon enough, they, they see a house on, on an island where it looks like an old house, which... Oh, boy. When you, okay, when you see that house, it looks like it's something like abandoned. An old dead tree in the middle of the nowhere. Like, oh, boy. That's a, that's the sign of the day. Go back. But Garfield, as usual. Candy. They land. They mass around the house, which... Well, there's a fire on in the fireplace, so make yourself at home. Sorry, <sighs> boy, I had bad allergies, but meh, I'll live. Soon after, Garfield only makes himself comfortable in the fireplace, which that's when they notice this. When Garfield turns around, he sees an old man smiling, sitting on his big chair, like, Ah, Ross Buckish! Shut up, you two! That's en enough to stop an old man's tinker. What is up South Screen? That's when the old man tells him, You choose a bad night to visit, my friends. It could be the last night of your lives. Which, Garfield, and Odie was like, Hey, eh, me's right. Maybe we should leave. Stay. Which I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna play his audio right here, which is the old man telling the story because hey, it's worth it. Better him to tell, not me. Let me find it. Okay. Okay, found it. Ready? He tells the story. Here it goes. What I am about to tell you has never been okay, told here. to another living soul. We had she beginning this island as a secret, a deep, dark secret it has held for a hundred years. One hundred years ago tonight, a ruthless band of pirates held up in this very house. They had looted many ships and were pursued by government troops. They were so heavily laden with their ill-gotten gains, they had to bury the treasure before making their escape. However, before they left this island on that stormy night, they signed a contract written in blood. They vowed to return for the treasure 100 years from Halloween night the stroke of midnight, even if it meant returning from the grave. Yeah, if you didn't know this, Garfield was right, like, this is bullshit, but yeah, wait until, that's when the, the old man corrects him, literally. See? The pirates had a ten-year-old cabin boy. I was that boy. I was there. I never took the treasure because they would have found me. There's no escaping them. They know we're here. They know who we are. Yep. And which Garfield says, okay, let's go. He tells me, okay, let's go. But before that, he tells that AI the old man, hey, you want to join us? And guess what happened? This. Well, that made my mind up. Come on, Odie, let's blow this joint. You want to come too? See? He just vanishes. Right there. Right there. And he ran out. They ran out saying, there. 
ran the water, the old men just took their boat, rolled away into the fog, and Garfield that Drats, there goes my boat. Drats, there goes my candy. There we go, surprise me right here. It's past my bedtime. <laughs> and soon, 12 strikes. And Garfield only trying to stop the clock from, from chiming by kicking it until it stops. Which, hey, nothing happened until the lightning strikes. And guess what appeared? A ghost ship. And coming out of the water, the ghost pirates. Which Garfield and Oli are screaming around. And like, wait. We have to hide. They know where we are. Which Oli chooses the most stupidest place to hide. He just went ostrich and dipped his head in a flower pot. <laughs> so, he goes like, not there, dummy. So they hid in the cupboard. Where do we see the ghost pirates? Entry through the house, span around, down to the floor, and, and guess what they brought up? The treasure chest off the floorboards. Not before Odie sneezed, which alerted the presence, literally. And it just both smile like we've already closed the door. Of course, they cl closed the cupboard, like, with a smile, like, yeah, yeah. maybe they didn't see us. Boom! Nope, they sold you. And they ran, literally. <laughs> They ran outside into the dock, and you see the ghost chasing or coming towards them. But of course, Garvey don't want to get wet. But pfft, hey, you have no choice. They jump in the water. What turns out, Garvey can't swim, so Odie has to save his butt. Soon, they manage to swim to shore, back away from the mysterious house. They had a long walk until they fa they found their boat and their candy. Soon they walk back home, back at the house, Garfield congrats Odie for saving his life, so as a gesture, he gave him his half of his can Halloween candy, which, it's kind of fair because face it, he saved your life, so he's heard something. Soon after, Garfield was relaxing, he got to watch some TV until, guess who he encountered on the television? Which, yeah, I'm gonna play the audio here. Where'd I go see what's on TV? Good evening, and welcome to our all night pirate movie festival. Boy, am I tired. <laughs> yeah, it was the old man who's on TV announcing he'll be the host for a pirate movie festival. Wow. For a guy who told about Ghost Pirates, he's now a host for Pirate Movie Festival. Even Garfield's like, wow, that's enough TV. Uh, yar. <laughs> <laughs> he just grabbed the whole black of candy like it was a blanket and grab his teddy bear and go back to sl goes to sleep. <laughs> but yeah, that was Garfield's Halloween Adventure and that was awesome because I kind of like the voice actor Lindsay. I Lindsay, I know the guy, let me see, um, Lindsay Workman, who voices the old man, like, wow, that's some voice, I mean, literally, that's a voice that you don't want, and I thought Christopher Lee's voice is more terrifying when he tells about ghost stories, like, I think I remember, so he does, like, you don't remember, he does stories, like, Sort of poems of Edgar Allan Poe, the stories of Sherlock Holmes, you know that, if you've seen him narrating. This is going to be their level, but yeah. But yeah, people, let me know what you think. Have you ever seen this special? Well, uh, again, this came on the DVD of Garfield's Hallway specials. Like, it came with not just the Hallway one, including the Christmas one and the Thanksgiving one, just those three. I've seen. I think the fans give it, but I like the and the Christmas one, but I like the Halloween more because hey, come on, it's Halloween with Garfield. <laughs> but still, you don't see like this anymore because this is hand painted in the eighties. Later on, it'll be done flash. So, but back then, this is hand painted and sketched. So, hey, you gotta get credit. You gotta love the the detail. You don't see those anymore. And this was animated by 
let me see. Let me read the, the credits. Let me read this. Okay. Okay. Layout designed by Ed Gettner. Color and designed by Ellie Bogardis. Key animator David Burgess. Animation by Bill Littlejohn, Robert Taylor, Lloyd Vaux, and Bob Carlson. Effects animation by Patty Pereza. Pereza. But yeah. I give congrats on them. I like it. You already see those anymore. Now everything CGI <laughs> and Flash. <sighs> but hey, we gotta move forward, so yeah. But let me know what you think of Garfield Halloween Adventure and if you liked it. Did you see it? I mean, like, if there were reruns back in, in television, let me know. What was your favorite part? To me, it was the storytelling from the old man. Come on. What? When you walk into a random house, he's the only telling you a ghost story that you should not be in this house in this specific night. But yeah, that's my favorite thing. But yeah, let me know what you think. Of Garfield Hollow Adventure. This was a, this was aired in nineteen eighty five and let me know what you think. What was your favorite and yeah. Until then see you next time. See ya and peace out.